el 26 de junio regresa Universal Plus The Real Housewife of Salt Lake City, el reality protagonizado por Lisa Barlow, Mary Cosby, Heather Gay, Meredith Martz, Whitney Rose, John Sean y Jenny Guyon. En esta nueva entrega nos adentraremos en el exclusivo círculo social del Salt Lake City, en el que sus protagonistas crearon su propio paraíso lleno de casas de lujo, compras y negocios multimillonarios, todo en medio del drama y nuevas aventuras. Una de sus protagonistas, Lisa Barlow, habló en entrevista con Kinike.com sobre su experiencia en este proyecto. You know, it's been an amazing experience. Um, I think when you're getting into it, you have an idea of what you're getting into. And then when it actually unfolds, you understand it a little more. Um, I think it's been amazing for our family. It's fun for me to be able to showcase our lifestyle, um, what we're doing, what's possible. I always say you don't know what you're missing until you're exposed to it. So I think one of the cool things this season is you get to see me as an entrepreneurial mother, um, help my kids with their business. Um, and for me, that's really been fun because that's a nice way for me to connect with my kids and teach them things and help them to expand their horizons and to see what's possible for them. I also think it's fun for me to show my kids um, me in a different capacity. So, you know, when you're, when you're raising kids, your kids see you as like, this is my mom and they know, My mom works with my dad and my mom does this, this, and this. And I think it's cool for my kids to be able to experience me as like how I am with my girlfriends, how I am in general. And you learn a lot about yourself. I think um, doing this, I've learned so much about myself, where I like things about myself, where I can improve. And I think it's been an overall like amazing learning experience. Um, it's tough too. <laughs> it's emotional. <laughs> Oh, I wish I could clone myself and have three of me. <laughs> um, but, you know, going into this, like I um, didn't realize how um, much it would change our life and time management is super important. But um, I've done everything from own restaurants to creating alcohol brands. And luckily we get to work in Mexico and, um, you know, work in another country and we sell in five countries outside of the United States. So I've always felt like I excelled when it came to business and I've been a really good girlfriend and um, balancing um, everything, you know, like I remember like when I was a little girl, you used to see the women in the ads with the, like, I can do it all. I can have it all. I think that there's always <laughs> a take. I don't think that that's possible. I think you're always sacrificing something. Sometimes it's sleep. Sometimes it's, time with the kids and missing something with the kids. But, um, you know, luckily I work with my husband. So where I'm lacking in certain areas, he can help me, especially in the home life. But I think it's super important that women know that they can do everything and anything. And it's okay to do multiple things at one time. Um, I think when I was younger growing up, you think like, oh, I'm going to start this business. So that's all I'll do. And just seeing what I've been able to do, Um, you know, in like my 20s and 30s and early 40s, you know, seeing what I'm able to create yeah. and how you can do more than one thing as long as they all work together. So I have my entertainment marketing company, which I'm able to have our tequila brands at all the events we do. And then in addition to that, I have a restaurant where I can host amazing events. And I think as long as they're all working together, you can accomplish a lot. And then being able to showcase this on Real Housewives of Salt Lake City It's kind of, I hope, inspiring for other women because that's the whole reason I wanted to do the show is to show women that you can do a lot of things and um, it's okay to like yourself in the process. That it's okay to have change. Um, you know, you'll see by the end of the season, like I go through a lot with my friendships. My friendships change, like who I'm, closer with in this group versus last year, um, you know, there's a huge change and dealing with trauma that your friends are going through and how that emotionally affects you. So, you know, like, you know, you'll see with Jen, so much happens in her personal life that affects all of us. Jenny, what she's going through with her husband and like, 
um, you know, her husband's demands on her and how that impacts our relationship and just basically mitigating all of that. And one thing I learned about myself is it's okay to be bold and say exactly what I mean when I mean it, when I feel it, when I mean it. And, you know, it's not okay to hide your, to hurt, you know, to hold your feelings back, to sacrifice a friendship. Sometimes it's better to be super direct and honest in your friendship. So, um, you know, and not to take, um, basically not to like hold my feelings back to preserve a friendship. It's okay to have my feelings, you know? And I think being in business, you learn how to mitigate situations differently than in friendships. And sometimes, you know, those can be applied to friendships and sometimes it's better to not apply them to friendships. Uh, no, I think it's real. I think that, um, you know, for me, when you work hard, I think you can have anything you want in life if you're willing to work for it. And I've always been able to work, um, work for it without um, sacrificing, you know, the integrity for my family and children and things. And I think that, um, you know, some people fake a lifestyle on the show, but you can't hide that. Like the world always finds out what the truth is. So it's better to come on to this and be authentic. But um, I wish we showed more of my business side. Um, maybe that's another show. <laughs> but, um, you know, for me and my kids, I think it's, <laughs> I think for me, like, I think it's very important to be authentic. And I think the show is about lifestyle, aspirational um, living and being. Um, but most of all, it's most important to showcase who you really are as a person, because I think that's where we all find something relatable and something that we can learn from. And um, you see, you know, the show becomes a mirror. You see things you like in other people. You see things in other people that you don't like about yourself or that you love about yourself. And I think as long as there's evolution, I think it's good. But um, the aspirational side, I always say, um, you know, one of my best friends is a billionaire and I'm always like, thanks for always showing me there's more. And I hope that that's what the show does. It shows people that there's more and you can have it. <laughs> Everyone in Chianti K, please watch and enjoy the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. I think you're going to love it.